When I was a youngster, I could never afford the nice bits of technology. I always loved tech, but I could never afford the nice stuff. So I would get cheaper tech, off-brand tech, things that weren't quite as powerful. And then I would spend hours and hours trying to get software to run on these things that really should not be there. Taking a netbook that was meant to run some stripped-down version of Linux and installing a full version of Windows on it and then removing all sorts of services and so forth to make it run better. This video kind of reminds me of that because what we're doing today is something that is absolutely ridiculous. In my hand, I am holding a smartphone. I know that it may not appear that I am holding a smartphone, but I am. This is the Unihertz Jelly 2E. This is actually the stripped down version, from what I can tell, of the Unihertz Jelly 2. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to install a couple of popular Android games. And we're going to do some gaming on this 3.3 inch screen. Before we jump into that bit, I want to show you what a Geekbench score looks like on this device because it is ridiculous. This is the Geekbench score. A single core score of 136 and a multi-core score of 432. These are scores that are a factor of 10 <laughs> lower than something like my Z Fold 4, Pixel 7 Pro. These are very, very low scores, okay? And it's running an ARM MT6761 processor, which, if you Google, is a MediaTek Helio A22. This is a chip from, I think I read 2018. Is that on this page? 2018, there we go. This is, this is a four-year-old chip, and it's not a particularly fast uh, four-year-old chip. It's got four gigabytes of RAM, and the performance, I'm just going to tell you up front, you shouldn't do this, okay? What I'm about to do, you just shouldn't do this. You should not buy this thing expecting to be able to game on it because you're just not going to be able to. It's not very good, but what it is, is hilarious. Loading times are extraordinarily long, but let's just look at the footage, okay? So this stuff was pre-recorded and I'll just be talking over. The first thing you may notice is that I'm running Niagara Launcher. It actually is a really, really nice launcher for a screen that is this small. It's actually I think, better than the stock launcher. So if you buy this thing for some reason, perhaps you want to use it as a, a complimentary phone, a phone that you keep your SIM in on the weekends to disconnect from the digital world, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the pressures of social media, uh, I would suggest uh, Niagara Launcher. It's very, very good. Let's roll forward and I'm launching... Minecraft. And let me just tell you that in any video, like it really just does not do it justice because when you see it in in person, it is so preposterously small and seeing a game on the screen is just delightful. Everyone that has I've shown this to has laughed out loud. Let's roll forward and note that as I'm loading it, it does say that it is sped up by eight, by eight times. And you'll see that it still takes a minute to load in and that is an eight times sped up loading. It is a very, very long time to load in. But there you go, we're loaded into Minecraft. The draw distance, not the greatest that you're ever going to uh, probably see in your life. Can't really see very many chunks forward. But I mean, it's playable once it loads in. It seems to be one of the bottlenecks might be uh, the lack of RAM, but also probably storage speed seems to be very, very slow. I need to run like a, a, a benchmark for storage speed because loading seems to just be abysmally slow on this thing. But once you're loaded in, most of the games you're going to see on really, really low settings, granted, do actually run maybe better than you would think. So then we're going to switch to PUBG Mobile, which is another thing that you just shouldn't do. A little joke there, you know, just demonstrating how small this thing is. We're going to try to pop it into my NACOM uh, controller grip, and that just obviously is not going to work. So you're stuck using the uh, screen on something like this. And if you've got hands that are like just normal sized hands, it's going to be almost impossible to do this. I have pretty small hands, and even for me, there's just not a lot of room. But as you can see, PUBG Mobile running just fine. I didn't show the actual plane ride in, but it was fine. It was actually quite smooth. It took a really, really long time to load into this lobby, but once I did, I was able to play it. I killed a bot there, and it actually ran... Okay, what about Pokemon Go? The same thing is going to be true here. The loading times took a long time. I've skipped over them just to make this more watchable. And there's definitely some lagginess scrolling around as stuff loads in. But once you get loaded in, it's Pokemon Go, and it's playable. You're able to actually play this thing. A little bit of lag there, spinning the old Pokeball around to toss it at whatever abomination of a Pokemon that was. I'm a, a Gen 1 Maybe Gen 2, Pokemon Silver and Gold, maybe? Past that? I don't know what in the world I'm looking at, but I caught that thing anyways. What about an emulator? 
We're going to load up Super Mario World in a Game Boy Advance emulator. And this actually runs totally fine. Now, I would not recommend playing it like that. So what I do is I sit it down and I grab my 8-bit do zero to a tiny controller for a tiny phone. It makes perfect sense to me. And uh, yeah, at that point, it's okay. You can totally play like this. I mean, it's like a tiny little emulator in your pocket. Load times on a Game Boy Advance game, you know, basically instantaneous because this is easily powerful enough to uh, to do something like a Game Boy Advance game. And so low-end emulation is probably actually somewhat viable and maybe a little bit of a, a neat parlor trick, if you will, uh, to show people on a device that is absolutely diminutive. Clearly not showing off my uh, my Super Mario World skills here because I'm just trying to run through the level as quickly as possible. It's a level I've probably seen a thousand times at this point, so I'm just kind of speed running my way through it. But at any rate, it kind of works. Like, honestly, some things work better than I expected them to, right? Like, once I'm loaded in, things work better than I, I think I expected. The problem was the loading time. It's so long to load into literally anything. Since I've already shown you like a sped up version, what I'm going to do here just to show you this live, here is the uh, Jelly 2E and I'm going to unlock it with the fingerprint scanner on the back and we're going to just launch Minecraft again just so that you can see this in real time. I won't speed it up here so that you can actually just see it. Do I have a phone nearby that I can... Just so you can see a size comparison, right? Here's um, here, here's my Fold my Fold 4, you know, it's a pretty small phone. And there I am still loading into uh, the actual menu on Minecraft. And I'm in, and just, just it's adorable. Just look at this. Look at the adorableness of, <laughs> of what we're seeing here. So let's load into my world. And I'm just going to sit here quietly while this attempts to load in. And uh, you can make a judgment on your own about what this experience is like. How about that? You can skip this if you want to. You can... You know, go watch another video if you want to do that. But we're just going to sit here. We're going to meditate, okay? We're going to meditate on this. We're going to breathe in slowly through our nose and softly out through our mouth while we repeat our mantra to ourselves. Perhaps you're just counting, counting your breaths one at a time until you hear a thought in your head arise. And you're just going to notice that thought. You're just going to look at it. What is that thought? And then you're going to return to that breath, counting each one as they pass. Learning to... Okay, here we go. We're back at Minecraft. So that's how long that actually does take to load in. You can see uh, geometry loading in still as we go. I mean, look, if you're like a very patient person, perhaps this is something that you would uh, be able to do. It's It's gone black. Have I crashed? I'm not sure what's going on. Nope, nope. We just locked, I think. There we go. We're all right. We're fine. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been gaming on a 3.3 inch Android device. Hopefully you found this somewhat amusing and interesting. I have an unboxing video for this thing. First impressions already. I will also have a full review of what the use case for this thing might be. What I think about the device as a whole. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.